Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. Uh, I'm glad to be back. We got a good one for you today. We're going to get into the Cruiserweight division. Um, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight, uh, breaking it down, showing you how to bring down the house, make money on every single major card in the sport of boxing. Uh, I don't gamble, but if you do, uh, I'm going to show you how to make a consistent stream of income, make a second uh, flow of, of, of income um, consistently unboxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. And like I said, I, I consistently show you how to make money here. And I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, please also uh, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, it's the uh, WBO World Cruiserweight uh, title fight between uh, Chris Billum Smith and uh, Matt Masternick of Poland. Uh, it will be in uh, uh, this fight will be in the UK. Um, <clears throat> it's uh, it's an okay fight. It's a, it's an intriguing fight. Chris Billum Smith has really come on as of late. Uh, he's picked up wins over Tommy McCarthy twice, including an eighth round knockout. I uh, picked up a couple of, a win over Isaac Chamberlain. Uh, he uh, and then most recently he he st- uh, dropped Lawrence Acoli, I think three times on his way to a points victory in what was a really odd fight. Uh, some of the scores were 116, 117, and 112, 112. Uh, it's really strained scores uh, with all the knockdowns. And I think a point or two deducted as well from uh, Acoli for holding what was a really really strange fight. Uh, which I thought Akoli did well, except he kept getting knocked down. And, you know, he won a bunch of rounds, and but then he would lose, he, and then he'd get a point deducted. So clearly he lost the fight. Uh, without the point deductions um, and the knockdowns, it, it was fairly competitive, I thought. Um, and he's taking on Matt Masnick. Masnick is 36, uh, I think. He might be 37. Um, it doesn't say on, on his box rack, but rugged opponent. He, he went the distance with Dortikos. Um, he, he recently beat a guy named Jason Watley. Um, United's points decision that was an undefeated prospect. Um, he, he fought Tony Ballou. That was back in 2015. He fought Johnny Miller. That was in uh, 2015 as well. And then he he lost uh, to his first fight, and his only time he's been stopped was to Gregory Jord, and that was uh, in in Russia, in Moscow, and that was back in 2013. He was stopped in 11 rounds uh, due to a cut. So he's never been like knocked out or stopped on his feet. He's only been, been stopped during a cut, uh, and he's been in there with hitters. Uh, Chris Billum Smith can definitely hit. Uh, he's good fundamentals. He uses his jab. Chris Billingson has a really, really good left hook. Uh, he, he's pretty quick. He's got good reflexes. He's got a tight guard. He, what, what he's good with is he's accurate on his power shots. So when he misses, you know, it's not like he's swinging at air and he's easy to counter. Um, he, he, he's defensively responsible and, and he's accurate. So when he throws, he lands. Uh, so he's not real easy to counter. And Masnack's not really a counter puncher. You don't really see Masnack countering much. He likes to lead. He's also very fundamental. I, I don't think he's a big hitter per se, although he seems pretty solid and strong. Um, he's not athletic. Like I said, he's not a huge puncher. Um, he, he lost the doors to the coast, but he was able to stand up. And the only time he's been stopped was due to a cut. And the cuts haven't reoccurred. So, you know, Bill Smith has some knockouts. He has some power. My guess is that um, Mesnick, who likes to fight from range, uh, he, you know, he likes to ma- maintain that range and, and you know, throw his ones and twos. He likes to pump out his jab and keep that distance. Uh, it can survive this. Uh, Bill Smith is a better athlete. You can dig to the body. Uh, I think all paths lead to him winning this fight, getting inside, and uh, inside is where he really does his best work. Like I said, on those short little power shots, the left hooks, a uh, little chop right hands he throws, they're, they're, they're accurate, and there's a little bit of pop on him. He's got he's, – Bill Smith is a decent fighter. Um, he's strong and accurate. He works the body. Um I really like how Masnack works the body too. Masnack is like kind of like a, 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 a fundamental workbook for big guys, right? Like 
jab the head, jab the body, defensive. Like he's he's fundamentally pretty sound, but there's really nothing next level about him, which is why he loses at the highest level. But he's competitive, right? Like he's competitive against Sotokos. He was competitive against Baloo. Uh, he's competitive in these fights, but he just doesn't have enough to win. I think that's ultimately what we're going to see again with Bill Smith, who's got he's younger, he's more athletic, uh, he's better on the inside. There's more things that he does really well. Right, and he's also pretty sound himself. Um, I think his accuracy and 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 his inside work is going to seize the day. I do think it's going to go the distance, uh, but let's take a look at the odds. Let's see what uh, the bookmakers at DraftKings are showing us, and we'll you know we'll show you how we're going to bring down the house and make money on this. That's close. All right. So the odds are minus 400 for Chris Billum Smith. So a hundred dollar bet, a one times bet, which I, I wouldn't go more than that because the odds aren't spectacular and, and mass knocks, not totally outclass. I, he's not going to win, but I, I wouldn't go crazy on this. A one times bet's going to make you $25. And I said, I'll take the over 10 and a half. Um, I could see a late stoppage, but what I think is more feasible is this goes the distance. Um, so a, a $200 bet is going to make you 85, 60. Right, sixty dollars on this bet. So you, you walk away with the original two hundred dollars plus another eighty-five sixty. Not making a killing on this fight, but it is a world title fight, and I, I think this this is a good spot to make money on. Uh, I think Chris Billsman is definitely going to win this fight, and I, I think you know, like I said, the, the history of Masnak is he goes the distance outside of one stop where he, one fight where he stopped by cut by a top notch fighter by a future world champion, and that was ten years ago, I think. Um, he's gone the distance, and he's been in with Blue, and he's been in with, with Dortico. So he's been in with the hitters, and he's been able to survive. He's been able to to, to last the distance. So I, I I see this going the distance. He is old, like he's strong, he's durable. Um, he's not really in there mixing it up, taking a lot. So I, I think this fight goes the distance, but ultimately I just think uh, Bill M. Smith it, it, it has too much going on. Bill M. Smith is better at too many things. Um, he's, he's an athlete, better athlete, better puncher. Um, you know, he throws more, throws more in combination. They both use their job pretty well. He's, he's got the better reflexes. He just, he, he does more things better than Master Knack does. Although Master Knack is, is, uh, fundamentally sound and he jabs the body, but he doesn't really dig to the body with hooks and power shots like, like, um, uh, Chris Bill Smith does. So I just see Chris Bill Smith being a step above. He's also younger and more athletic. So, I don't really see how Masnick wins the fight, although he could be competitive in it. He could win a couple rounds early with his jab uh, while Bill Smith figures it out. But once Bill Smith gets on the inside, he's going to outwork him and out-hustle him, and uh, he's going to win the fight on points. So I see it. Let me know how you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is December 6, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. <laughs> Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.